Uh, versus Sen. Sen. Sen, yeah. Sen. And he, uh, I believe he plays Thousand. Yeah, and NGL Chris is a player, a, a very strong up and coming player. I believe that's supposed to be uh, MCZ, right? Mad Cats? Yeah, okay. It's the battle of the century! Fight! Definitely one of the rising stars here in the, of the game, taking it very seriously. Yes, and his Ken is probably one, like when uh, Michael Ten was here. Michael Ten considered the uh, best Ken from Japan. When he was out here, they were they were just bonding on Ken and, and trading <laughs> trading all kinds of Ken secrets and tactics yep. and uh, you know just difficulties of the character. And, yeah, and I think that that helped NGO Chris a lot. And he's like, he seems to be very aware of how to find a lot of the matchups. Yeah, he gets a lot of practice. And he, one of the, and actually one of the best things about what Chris has done recently is not only has he improved his Ken, but he's learned a couple of other characters. We talked about it yesterday, how having pocket characters is so important. Exactly, and I really like how he always gets the max damage, and that car throw is so silky smooth. Whenever he's, uh, whenever he's at the range of that step kick. You have to expect the throw might be coming instead. So that actually, very. Oh no! This is this Ow. is not the way you want to start the round. All so right. Sen got lucky that he wasn't actually hit with the EX Hurricane Kick because that would have put him in an even worse situation. Yeah. Oh, he had the right read, but just a little too far for that jumping roundhouse to connect. And I do like the patience exhibited by Chris here. He's definitely staying out of the range of Dawson's stuff so that Dawson can't get anything any big damage uh, attacks. Yep, and uses the FADC to get forward and land the uppercut. And you see that Sand right there uses Yoga Catastrophe to just create some space. What he really wants is Chris to go away. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Chris was cornering him pretty hard. Yeah, there's almost never a failure of using that move unless you use it too close. Because as long as the opponent moved backwards, it did its job, you know, it doesn't have to hit. But Chris just gets right back in there. That time does do the EX Hurricane. Doesn't even need the mix-up afterwards because it kills. I mean, I'm actually surprised at how many jump-ins Chris got there. Yeah. I mean, I think that he got three good jump-ins there. And now I think... Oh, wow. He tried to opposite like that. Um, I, now he's getting a little reckless, and this is what San wants. San is really good at... Uh, at, you know, keeping the keeping the pressure off of it. Yeah, all Dalsums want your the opponent to get frustrated trying to get in. Oh, exactly. That just starts get, making them make even more and more mistakes. And they fall into this this trap that Dalsum players are fully aware of, where they just know what button to hit next. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. you know, this guy will probably jump because he's mad now, and I'll hit this button. And he's gonna do this, and I'm gonna hit this yeah. button, right? And they can see everything from further out. And you can see that it's been happening here because uh, lots of errant uppercuts from Chris and such. But here he is. He's in. One combo could potentially take this. Oh, you got to be careful when you throw that fireball because Chris has Ultra 2. And he's, he's mad at himself. He's mad at himself for getting hit by that and not Ultra 2 ing it. Yeah. But that's, that's, that's a sign as Chris knowing that San's not looking at Ultra 2. He's not paying attention. I don't think he realized exactly what's going on. So he might be able to just bait out a fireball and raw ultra it later on in this match. Yeah, there's something, some food for a thought for him. Oh, okay, and just like that, these jumps are paying off for Chris. Oh, overhead time. Oh, he's not gonna need it. Oh, no neutral jump, I know you're so angry right no, now. No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's, it's okay because uh, there's not much that Sam could do there, yeah, you know. Yeah. And and at, the, at that point, the, the, the combo was already scaled a lot, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's yeah. okay, <laughs> it's right. Oh, got in with that oh, one hit. And just like that, just like that, this is not looking good for Sand because once Chris gets in, it's all kinds of offense. Ooh, and if he would have focused, canceled that? Yeah, into a low forward, dizzy. It was a dizzy. Oh, and now, now this is what Sand wants. Sand wants that space. He wants to control. He wants to play Chris in the corner and then control him. Oh, and just like that, rolls are reversed. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, smart stuff from Chris. Yeah, so I mean, I hope Chris enjoys it now because that's gone on an ultra, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Ken's gaining a lot more in ultra, so. Oh. Oh, nice. beautiful! Not willing to sit still. Ooh. Oh. That's not what you want. Oh, and Chris a little too missing, far, yeah. missing the uppercut. Uh, actually, I don't think he went for the uppercut. Yeah. I think he was trying to do low forward hurricane kick. Yeah, and the low forward just wasn't in range. Nice, but oh, great no. throw from San. He's, he can take this. And he's betting it all. 
Oh no, don't focus the EX and San is so <laughs> mad at himself. He's so mad at himself, but good fight. Yeah. Chris takes that. I'm I'm actually confused as to why he focused that, but Yeah, good, I think good that's good what he's Chris. thinking too. Why did I focus? You know, he might have been trying to bait out the step kick or something like that, because he was right in that.